Hey everyone, Mark Luber here. Today on JD Careers Out There, we're exploring careers in employment law. And like all of our video content, we're helping you find and succeed in fulfilling careers using a law degree, either practicing law or leaving law to pursue alternative careers. And you may already know that our video content really does two things. One is we provide advice that focuses in on helping you with practical skills, the stuff you'll need for success. And then the other stuff we do is we explore career paths in depth so that you can decide if those paths fit you. Today our guest is employment lawyer Donna Ballman, who's got her own practice in Davie, Florida near Fort Lauderdale, where she represents employees, not employers. And Donna writes for AOL Jobs and sometimes the Huffington Post, and she has an award-winning blog on employment issues called Screw You Guys, I'm Going Home. Uh, she's also an author. Her latest book is Stand Up For Yourself Without Getting Fired, Resolve Workplace Conflicts Before You Quit, Get Axed, or Sue the Bastards. Donna's going to tell us all about practicing employment law, so let's get started. Donna, welcome to JDCOT. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I'm glad you're here. So, Donna, I'm going to ask you to tell us all about being an employment lawyer, and then we're going to dig in deeper. We're going to get into a uh, typical day, who makes the right fit for this kind of a path, how to break in, and how to succeed. But first, let's learn about your practice and tell us what you do as an employment attorney. Well, I do employee side employment law only. So that involves representing everybody from the janitor to the CEO when they have employment law issues. Um, things like negotiating severance agreements, new employment agreements, discrimination issues, non-compete issues, trade secret disputes, um, anything relating to employment law from the employee side. So then how does someone know to come to you? When, when do they say, you know what, I need an employment lawyer representing me right now? Well, uh, usually they come to me when they've been fired. And I actually wrote a book um, called Stand Up For Yourself Without Getting Fired. Oh, here it is. Yeah, hold it up. I mentioned it in the interview, in the intro, yeah. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, my, my publisher will be proud. Um, and uh, it, it, the book is to try to help people because usually when they come to me, I get about 300 emails a day and, and most of them have been fired or they've done something really dumb that is going to get them fired. And, and I thought, well, how can I help people try to not get fired or, or help them before they come to me? So the idea of the book is to help them with the crisis scenarios that um, go from job applications and interviews all the way up to post-employment, try to help them deal with those situations, give them some examples of possible crises that may come up and some uh, ideas of possible steps they could take and what may happen if they do take those steps and just give them some advice before they come to me. But, you know, people find out that they need an employment lawyer. Usually, um, well, a lot of times they figure it out when they're handed an agreement that says you should consult with an attorney before you sign this. Um, sometimes severance agreements will say that. Um, sometimes they will talk to their coworkers or friends or neighbors and they say, oh, gee, you may have a claim. You should talk to an employment lawyer. All right, if you're on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up if this was helpful. And to see more from Donna, you could jump on over to JDCOT.com. And you'll hear Donna talk more about employment law, particularly what it's like to work on the employee side, a typical day, who makes the right fit for this path, how to break in, and how to succeed. If you're already at the site, you could just scroll down to the full version. And make sure you join our membership so you get access to all the helpful video content. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Mark Luber, and I'll see you soon.